What's up everybody on the mangoes? You are awesome and we cooked up some concept art for the Paragon Heroes on stream using text to image AI. I'll show you what we typed and what we got for the results with the community picked favorite first. Some of these turned out great while others are very, very cursed. A space pirate hooker with white hair and the ability to control ice wielding a sword made of ice wearing a short dress that is half ice and half cloth with high heels. Aurora, we I actually did off stream and I really like how she turned out. Uh, we got a couple different ones here, so I'll just pan through them. I think they all look pretty good and I think they would make pretty, pretty good skins, even though some of them are cross-eyed a little bit. Pale skinned vampire woman with straight shoulder length black hair wearing a skin tight leather dominatrix suit, wielding two thin swords and high heels with very red lipstick and glowing red eyes. Countess, I think, turned out really well. We had some pretty decent ones before this one, but I think adding dominatrix actually into the into the algorithm is what uh, produced the best results. So I'll just again scan through some of these. Steampunk robotic mech designed for boxing. He has booster jets on his arms and back. No mouth or nose, just orange eyes. He's lime green. He has very big fists. He has a small head. Crunch may like to punch, but he, he does not like to be converted into an AI concept art. This is the absolute best we could do. Everything else just made him look like a toy. And it, isn't, it wasn't even funny enough to put on his extra. So this is all you got for Crunch. I'm sorry. Woman with black hair in a bun, she's wielding a power staff that shoots balls and builds walls. Light blue and dark blue skin tight space suit without a helmet. I think Decker turned out really well. I really like these images of Decker. Uh, I kind of messed up at first. I, I've always felt Decker had like a kind of an Asian influence. So I put in half Asian into the algorithm, but uh, that didn't work out so well. But I think these images are pretty cool anyway. Australian man wearing a steampunk gas mask, his clothes are tattered orange cloth, he has a spiked shoulder pad, he's using a large revolver that shoots irradiated bullets. I actually think Drago came out pretty cool, and after looking at these images, I really want like a Plague Doctor skin for Drago. The other picture we had on looks like he's trying to hide his arm inside of his jacket or something. A fairy girl with a brunette Karen haircut. She has fairy wings, a tutu made of leaves, a bra made of leaves, glowing green eyes. She can control plants. She has bare feet. Her skin has shadowy stripes. The Fae came out yeah, pretty well. I mean, she just, she looks like the Fae. Uh, the other image we got is kind of like a little baby Fae, which is adorable, but doesn't really fit in, in with the theme of Paragon. Short auburn hair wearing a yellow helmet, a yellow robotic steampunk arm coming out of her back that's holding a bomb. She's wearing a gray tube top and tight leather pants, exposed midriff. Gadget ended up decent. I do like that they put a little extra junk in her trunk. However, Gadget also had some of the most cursed images out of this entire thing. We got triple titty Gadget and not like the cool total recall way. Then we got this weird face mask thing going on. Ugh. It is terrible. Hooded man with a trimmed beard. He's a space mage that throws rocks, surrounded by purple energy. Interstellar assassin, mythical purple mage costume. Gideon came out awesome first try. Um, 
We didn't really do, we only have two of them because he just, he turned out really well. Prince Charming Wannabe in silver and black dragon armor with gold accents. No helm, blonde hair. Greystone is another one that came out just great first shot. So I only have two images, but they're pretty damn cool. I think they really match Greystone pretty well. Cyberpunk Android with a white energy cannon, weird coaxial cable body, his torso is blocky and white. He's controlled by a flying gremlin, glowing orange core. Grim is another one that we just could not get right no matter how hard we tried. Um, the other images, again, not even cool, not even funny, so we just got the one for Grim. Primitive man with a rhino head, has gray skin, is holding two clubs made of bone, wearing a tactical loincloth. Grux was rough. Uh, it never did give me anything that I was happy with. And it just kept wanting to give us these abomin rhinoceros abominations, no matter how hard we try. It didn't matter what we typed, anthropomorphic rhino, it, nothing would help. Rugged Dirty Rat smoking a cigar and controlling a mechanized exoskeleton with a rocket launcher arm and jump jets shooting missiles. Howitzer's another one where we never did get a decent image. We ended up just kind of settling with this. Cyborg female ninja assassin with two daggers, glowing red eyes, metal black body, two cables coming from the back of her head. Clary's a great example of how less is more sometimes for these descriptions. I thought she turned out great. Yeah, it doesn't really look like Kalari, but these definitely look like skins for Kalari. Uh, well, except for the one where she has a head growing out of her shoulder. Primitive man wearing an animal hide hood and an animal jawbone face mask, using two stone axes, glowing cyan eyes, hide boots, animal hide vest. Chimera didn't really come out looking like Chimera, but I was still happy with it. I think it look, looks like it would be a really cool winter themed skin for him. I forgot what I put for again Scorch, and I'm kind of glad I did because this shit looks terrible. Motorcycle Iggy would be kind of fun though. Handsome Korean man with a purple headband and his hair is in a bun. He's using a giant curved sword. He's wearing light purple plate armor with gold accents. He has a purple sash. He controls lightning, Zianzia style art. I felt that Quang came out pretty good first go around, so we really didn't mess with him too much. Futuristic police woman with brown hair and a ponytail. She has a pistol on her left hip and she's holding a submachine gun. She's wearing blue and black tactical gear, but no helmet. Bellica I did by myself off stream and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Undead woman with ram's horns and dreadlocks wearing a bone bikini top and a tattered brown skirt. She's using a Chris and a voodoo doll. She has blue skin with tribal tattoos. She's a witch doctor. Morgesh turned out absolutely amazing. Um, 
probably some of my favorites of this entire thing. Futuristic black male cop wearing a helmet with a clear visor and blue chin strap. He's wearing light blue and gray tactical armor and using a large pulse rifle. He has a pistol strapped to his back. Right arm is robotic. Murdoch turned out pretty good first shot. Uh, somebody said he looks like a Starship Trooper skin for Murdoch, which I 100% agree with. What didn't turn out well was this face growing out of his shoulder. White Android Angel with bronze accents and robotic wings. Muriel turned out pretty well first, first go around. Not really a direct likeness of Muriel, of course, but I think this would make for a cool skin. Fat Green Goblin beating a drum, Ginger Mohawk, Ginger Beard, Skull Shoulder Pads. I had to go back after the stream and redo Narbash. This was the best I could come up with. Narbash produced some of the absolute most cursed images of the entire stream. Uh, I still have nightmares about this one. Cyberpunk British woman with long purple hair. She has cat ear headphones around her neck. She's wearing a short cropped light purple jacket. She has a leather short skirt, thigh high purple and black striped socks and combat boots. Faze I thought turned out pretty well. We did have to end up specifying British cause it kept trying to make her Asian, but even the Asian ones were actually kind of cool. Muscular gorilla shaped body without hair, Cthulhu tentacles on face, broken shackles on wrists with chain. Rampage is another one that just didn't turn out well no matter what we did. This does kind of look like that skin that they had for him in Overprime though, which is kind of cool. It did kind of result in one of the funniest ones though. <laughs> Spectral Cowboy Bounty Hunter with glowing red eyes, no face, and a red bandana wearing a long leather duster using a four-barreled revolver. Now, I thought the AI would have a much easier time with the Revenant, but holy shit, we tried all sorts of stuff, and we just it just would not get it right. Uh, we ended up with this one that looks like Ulysses S. Grant going to an Eyes Wide Shut party, and you got the uh, Picasso hat. Ugh. The, the human one looks all right, though. Thick cyberpunk cyborg undead psychotic prison warden with gears for shoulders, electrified chains shooting from his hands, mechanical legs. I was really happy with the way Richter came out. Uh, it doesn't really look like Richter, but it's in the spirit of Richter, I guess. The, uh, the other one, not so great. Beautiful armored evil female Valkyrie with medium length blonde hair holding a medieval mace. Her armor is white and gold. She has angel wings made of fire. Sarah turned out really well. Um, after I took the word curly out of the description for her hair, at first I put curly and that didn't work out so great. Floating green faceless robed figure with spiked shoulders holding an overly large warhammer. You would think that Severog would be easy. He's just the Grim Reaper with a hammer. In fact, that's what we first typed in was just Grim Reaper with a hammer. Uh, I, I don't know what was up with the AI. I guess the AI decided that Severog was cool enough as he is. 
because all of these turned out just absolute garbage. Auburn braided hair, green medieval hunter's clothes, female archer, noble, pretty. Sparrow turned out great. I think she looks like some sort of Celtic goddess of the hunt or something. Would love to see a skin like this. K-pop battle mom with white and purple tube top, white and purple shorts using a sword, and petting a ghost wolf. Shimbi looks kind of cool. We had to add mom in because it kept making her look way too young. Even after mom, it looks too young. And yes, I did try MILF, but uh, MILF didn't quite, it, it produced some images it wouldn't show me. I, I kind of like how it looks like Walter Frey got a hold of that one. Muscular android, pale blue skin, orange steampunk armor, large metal fists, robotic legs, bald protector, orange head armor. Steel didn't turn out great for the most part, but the more I look at this, the more I think that it would be a cool skin. But the rest of them, eh, not so much. Large armored woman with blue face paint and a blonde braid. She has a large shield and axe. Other than sharing a shoulder pad, Tara looks great. I think a lot more people would have played Tara if she looked like this in Paragon. Cocky soldier man with two pistols and red steampunk arms and short hair wearing a vest. Twin Blast is okay-ish. Uh, again, the, the AI has a very hard time with weapons. Sun Wukong. Yep, all I typed was Sun Wukong because <laughs> that's who he is. Male cyborg soldier wearing white armor with a blue visor. I tried a bunch of different things for Wraith and nothing was working. The only one that I ended up actually liking is this like gender bender female Wraith version. Asian woman warrior with short tight green and silver dress, shoulder length hair, using a whip made of wind dancing through the clouds. I had a lot of failures with Yen, who I think both of these games need to add as soon as possible. So I tried a variety of different art concepts and styles and stuff. So I have probably more for Yen than anybody else. Seventies era Catwoman sci-fi warrior with a shimmering cap and exposed midriff. I meant to type cape instead of cap, but whatever. It turned out well anyway. I like the human form Zinx. It's kind of cool. And that's going to do it for this fun little project. Let me know in the comments if you would have typed anything different. Let me know what your favorite one was. Let me know what your least favorite one was. But for now, this is the Mangoo signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoo!